I'm DX Elbow with the double edition of This Week in RuneScape History, from the 27th to the 2nd of January, and from the 3rd to the 9th of January. On the 30th of December 2003, Jagex advised its player base to be alert for trade scammers, and also made changes to the trade confirmation window. Amounts will be shown in words and numbers. On the 2nd of January 2004, 957 players were permanently banned due to macroing, and Jagex publicly named and shamed 100 of the worst offenders. On the 28th of December 2005, six Australian servers went live. On the 2nd of January 2007, the following rules for Rule 7 and Rule 9 were updated. Rule 7 now includes third-party RuneScape clients and world switches, and Rule 9 encouraging others to break the rules. And on the 2nd of January 2008, Part 5 in the Desert Quest storyline and the 131st quest went live in a RuneScape, dealing with Scabbaras. An unbalanced trade was removed, for both free-to-play and members. On the 4th of January 2001, the very first original RuneScape beta went live. On the 4th of January 2002, two new RuneScape servers went live, taking the total amount of worlds to 6, and our RuneScape can support up to 7,500 players simultaneously. On the 7th of January 2004, you can now change your character's clothes from Thessalia's clothes shop in Varric, and you can change your hairstyle from the hairdresser in Falador. A run option was added to RuneScape. You can now turn on and off Auto Retaliate, and a new menu went live, allowing your character to perform emotes. And 14 various bug fixes were made to RuneScape. On the 5th of January 2005, members were given another 48 bank spaces, Part 4 in the Troll Quest storyline and the 67th quest arrived in RuneScape, Troll Romance. And three new chat effects went live in the RuneScape, Shake, Slide, and Wave 2. The 4th of January 2006 saw the arrival of the Mage Training Arena, located north of the Duel Arena. On the 4th of January 2007, a new minigame went live in the RuneScape, Barbarian Assault. Ava's Accumulator can now automatically recover most of a player's own ranged ammo. Barbarian Outpost and Birthorpe were added to the game's necklace. And a right-click option was added to Magic Carpets and Gnome Gliders. The 6th of January 2009 saw the arrival of the 149th quest in RuneScape in Pioneer. A brand new Destructions and Diversions went live, the Phoenix Layer. And a new Summoning Familiar also went live, the Phoenix. On the 4th of January 2011, Part 4 in the Rise of the Red Axe storyline and the 170th quest arrived in RuneScape, King of the Dwarves. Upon completing this quest, you'll have access to a new Distractions and Diversion, the Lava Flow Mine, and RuneScape officially turned 10 years old. The 4th of January 2012, the Barrows and the Barrows Brothers got a graphical rework. And for you lorehounds out there, Twice Burnt was released on the 6th of January 2012. On the 3rd of January 2013, a new Distractions and Diversion went live in the RuneScape, God Statues. The 7th of January 2014 saw player-owned ports get an expansion with the Loop and Shield regions. Four new sets of resources went live with the player-owned ports update, Azure, Terracotta, Pearls and Koi Scales. Three new adventurers arrived. The Architect, The Chef, and The Trapper. A new trader arrived in the player-owned ports. 
you can create three new items in player own ports. The Reef Walker's Cape, requiring level 90 crafting. Leviathan Ring, also requiring level 90 crafting. And Death Lotus Darts, requiring level 92 fletching. Also, players can make their own instance next battles. Nexus Stance was changed. Nexus Wings changed the green when deflecting range and blue when deflecting magic. And finally, on the 5th of January 2015, 26 boss pets went live in the RuneScape. The boss pets being from Araxor, Araxi, Kriara, Commander Ziliana, General Rador, Krill Satsaroth, Nex, the Calphite Queen, the Calphite King, the Corporeal Beast, the Giant Mole, Harakon, the King Black Dragon, Legio Primus, Secondus, Tetrius, Quartus, Quintus, Sextus, the Chaos Elemental, the Dagonoth Prime, Rex, Supreme, and the Queen Black Dragon. I hope you enjoyed this extended edition of This Week in RuneScape History. I'm DXCLB.